Today I'm going to show you how to composite an explosion in Final Cut Pro X. First thing you're going to need to know is that you already need to have explosion compositing effects. Um, there's plenty of free explosions that you can download from the internet, but I got mine from Video Copilot's Action Essentials 2, which I highly recommend because it's really good. But either way, we're going to go ahead and start and hmm, let's see where I'm going to put this. Um, I'm just going to start it off in the beginning. I'm going to start off with the car bomb because it's the most important. Let's see. Bam. Just like that. Now I'm going to position this over the car. Just like that. And then let's see what it looks like. That looks pretty good to me. Maybe a little higher. Because video copilots, I mean, they're really good. I mean, that already looks pretty good. I mean, it doesn't look completely realistic, but we're going to fix that. Next thing we're going to add is we are going to go ahead and add our big fire to hmm. or hmm. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the dark smoke layer. Now I'm going to take this off just for a few minutes. I want the dark smoke to start where it's like in the middle, just like that. And then I'm going to open this up. And right when it reaches up there, I'm going to place the dark smoke. Put it up here. And then I want it to look bigger though. More frightening, menacing. So I'm going to and I zero them out by pressing B and it just turns it off it's like you know zero opacity at that moment and then when I press B it just turns it back on and then after that you see that the dark smoke uh, is the only thing left with the fire and it makes it look nice I'm also going to change the explosions blend mode to add not the dark smokes blend mode but just all the fire and explosions and stuff alrighty so so far so good I'm going to go over here and then I would think right about hmm, well maybe early so maybe there I'm going to add another explosion right here explosion 3 which is just the name of it I'm only putting two explosions in there and then let's see so let's position this over here now it looks a little strange, but once you change the blend mode to add, it kind of makes it blend in more. And bam, that looks pretty nice. Next thing I'm going to add is the big fire. Three, or one of the big fires, which I think it's this one. Yes, big fire three. This one is going to be... Hmm, I actually kind of want this one to be on top of it. And you see this one has a black background, so I'm going to go ahead and change it to add, which eliminates the black background. And let's see. I'm just going to put it in right there. And then there's another fire out there. Of course, I'm going to move this out more. So it's got, yeah, some nice, or maybe right there. It's got some fire coming out this one. And my last fire I'm going to put in. This one's going to be right over the dark smoke. It's going to be right here. Probably about the same. Right there. And now I'm going to this up. Oops, which one did I grab? I'm going to press Command Z to undo that. I click this one. Bring it down some. I want to scale it down to not that much, just just a little. And then right over here, change the blend mode to add. And let's see what we have. That's pretty good so far. Actually, I think it's it's actually really good. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is trim this all of the extras off. So we go ahead and get that, and I'm going to delete this. And the rest of it's going to be deleted because it was all dangling on that. And just like that. Now we have the explosion. Now it doesn't look like a yet. Now, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of it by clicking and dragging and then I'm going to press control click and then new compound clip um, tutorial clip is fine I guess you could name it explosion if you wanted to explosion clip or just explosion okay and that basically set it as one clip and I can add any effect to it and you'll basically add it to all of the clips right there no, I don't want color correction. I'm just going to go ahead and put hue saturation on there, which it hasn't done anything yet because I haven't edited it. And then I'm going to go down into looks for a quick color grade. And I'm going to put this LUT on there. I'm going to drop it down. I like this LUT because it just makes things look nice very quickly. And maybe just a little bit more. Okay, hue saturation. I'm going to bump up the saturation so you see the red and fire. Just like that. Now you can see that it's a little sharp right there, so I'm going to scroll up, and scroll down to looks, and come down here to romantic, and basically that blurs the edges. Um, if you want it all the way up, you can see the difference with the slider, or you can see it when I turn it on and off. Um, I'm going to drop it down to 50, and if you want to get more precise, you can even add a mask by going here, add shape mask, placing it wherever you want it. Maybe you just want it on the outside edges, and bam, add the feathering. That's what it looks like. And this is what the original clip looked like, pretty, brill pretty bland. And then this is what the one looks like with all the color grades and stuff. Now that one looks a lot better. <clears throat> now, the last thing you need to do is add some audio. Job already got the audio laid out. I've got some fire, some explosions, which all found in Final Cut Pro X right here. And then I have music right here, just to make it sound even more epic. And just like that. Now the last thing you could do to, I mean, there's plenty of other things you could do, but the last thing I would do, which I'm not an expert, but is grab this, the solid, trim it down, go to generator, color, this up a lot. Choose a nice, nice color right there. Maybe even a darker color. I don't know. I'm gonna change the blend mode to color dodge. I'm gonna drop the opacity down a lot to like five. Alrighty. Then I'm going to get a mask. all the way up there and I'm going to go here and um, I want my mask to be big. This is going to simulate light. We'll put a ghetto version to simulate light. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I guess the one problem with it is that it is a little bright. So let's drop it down. But like here, now we're going to add the keyframe now, right there, and then a keyframe at the beginning where it's going to be zero. And then and if you wanted to get even more particular, you could even go down and up and down and up to simulate the flickering. there it'll make it look even more realistic. Well, either way, that's the tutorial. If you like the tutorial, please crunch the like button. And if you have any suggestions, just comment down below. Please subscribe. And thank you for watching.